Hello students, we have discussed about two different kind of connective tissue, connective tissue proper and the second kind was vascular connective tissue. Today we will discuss about the third type of connective tissue that is called as skeletal tissue. This one is a rigid kind of connective tissue that provides support to our body. Along with the support, it provides protection to different delicate organs. It also do a framework to our body. So the skeletal kind of tissue is made up of this one is a connective tissue, so it's made up of two kind of substance. The first one is matrix and the another one is fiber. Matrix is made up of different proteins along with some specific kind of deposition like calcium phosphate, calcium carbonate, etc. And in these substance, cells and fibers are embedded. Now skeletal tissue or rigid tissue can be categorized into two categories. The first one is called as bone while the another type is cartilage. First we will discuss about bone. This one forms our main skeletal system. This one is more rigid as compared to cartilage. It's a more rigid structure, more denser also and provide protection to different body organs. In the matrix of bone, there is a lot of deposition of calcium carbonate and calcium phosphate. Usually the bones are, these are just like this. Bones are quite long and in the long bones, a blank cavity is present. Here, as we usually see, long bones are usually hollow. This cavity is filled up with a specific substance called as bone marrow. This one is bone marrow and it acts as the site for the production of RBC and WBC. So actually along with the support, along with the protection, it also acts as the site for the production of blood cells. Now the structure of bone. Bone cells are called as osteocyte and the protein present in bone is called as osin protein. Osteocyte arranged in the concentric manner around a Canal. This canal is called as Habersian canal. This one is Habersian canal. And various osteocyte forms the concentric ring around it, like this. Now these structures are combinedly from Habersian canal system. And these all the structures are embedded in the matrix of bone. Now you can see this is the structure of a bone, a TS of bone in which osteocytes form the concentric ring like structure which surround actually the Habersian canal and now this whole system is called as Habersian canal. This is the speciality of mammalian bone. Now the covering of bone is called as, this is called as periosteum. And as I told you, this whole structure is embedded in matrix and that matrix is, this one is this green pigmented structure that is matrix now. And that matrix is denser in the deposition that means here yeah, a lot of calcium carbonate, a lot of calcium phosphate is available. A lot of calcium phosphate is available. This is the structure of bone as I told you. It's made up of osteocyte cells which are here. 
this is concentric uh, this is a canal called as haversian canal and osteocyte arrange in the concentric manner and form haversian canal system here the whole bone is surrounded by a membrane that is called as periosteum and these all the structures these uh, haversian canal system this whole haversian canal system is embedded in matrix and it's the specialty of mammalian bone stress of bone now the point is what's the basic difference in between bone and cartilage so right now we will discuss regard to the structure of car cartilage second point is cartilage it's a flexible structure it's made up of chondrocytes and the protein present in cartilage is chondrin usually cartilage is present at loose strip air pinna or external ear and it's also present at the junction of long bones it form a pad like structure at the terminal end of long bones now the structure of cartilage the covering of cartilage is called as perichondrium this covering is called as perichondrium while the matrix is present here this is the matrix which is found everywhere it's less denser although calcium carbonate calcium phosphate get deposited here but these are found in very less amount this is the matrix in the matrix chondrocyte cells are present either in pair or single or in triplet gap is also present in between cells and that gap is called as lacunae just like that you can recognize it it's a duplet while this one is a single it's again a duplet and now it's a triplet the gap is present in between cells that is called as lacune now cartilage uh, the main function of cartilage is it usually present at the joint of bones in nose and in ear trachea and larynx where it provide flexibility and great tensile strength it's a ts of cartilage now what's the basic difference between bone and cartilage i am going to write them as i told you earlier cartilage is flexible in nature while bone is rigid in nature then the first difference is now the differences between cartilage and bones the first difference cartilage is a flexible structure while bone is a rigid structure another one the cells of cartilage are called as chondrocyte while the cells of bones are called as osteocytes the next one is the protein present in cartilage is called as chondrin protein while the protein present in bone is called as osteoin osteoin protein next year haversian canal system is absent
Haversian canal system is absent, while in bones it's present. The next difference is here yeah, the cells are arranged in the concentric manner. These are arranged in in the bones. In the cartilage, cells are not arranged in rings. In the cartilage, cells are not arranged in rings. While here, these are arranged in rings. Concentric rings. The next one is here yeah, the matrix is less denser. While in bone, the denser matrix is. So this is over about bone and cartilage. Both are protective skeletal kind of tissue which forms support framework to our body. Thank you everyone.